Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop and I will be showing you how to apply this nice frozen text effect to any text you may want to within Photoshop. So this is a very easy process. If you'll just follow along step by step by applying a few filters and layer masks, you will be good to go in no time. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing we're gonna want to do is create a new project. Go up to File, New. Once you are there, you want to name the project, whatever you wanna name it. I'm gonna name mine Frozen Text okay and click okay it really doesn't matter about the dimensions just depending on how big or how small you want the text and we want to then make our background a nice black color so we want to unlock our background go ahead and click okay and then we want to go over here and apply a solid color okay so go right down here right here at the bottom of the box under your layer panel create a new fill or adjustment layer and add a solid color go ahead and make that solid color a black you can make it a gradient or a dark gray color, but you do want it to be a darker color for your background. Now, once you have done that, you then want to go over and select your text tool. Once you have your text tool selected, as you see here, I've chosen Times New Roman as my font. I have bolded it and the size that I'm using is 155 points now you can adjust this you can use different fonts depending on what you want to achieve but I've chosen Times New Roman and this is my settings here so you can play around with that if you would like now click anywhere on your canvas and start typing whatever the desired text is once you have your text typed out go ahead and drag it somewhere on the center of your canvas make sure it's centered to the best of your ability now, once your text is centered the way you want it, you want to go up and rotate this image. So go to Image, Image Rotation, 90 Degrees, CW. Once your image is rotated, you now want to apply a filter. Go up to Filter, Stylize, all the way down to the bottom to Wind. Once you are there, it'll ask you, do you want to rasterize this? And you will click OK. Once you are here, it'll say Method Wind, and you want to make sure the direction is from the right, not the left, but from the right, and click OK. Once you have done that, you see it's added a nice, very small wind effect here. kind of looks like water is dripping. You then want to intensify this a little bit, so you can easily do this by on a Windows pressing Control or on a Mac pressing Command-F. So Control or Command-F one more time, and let's add it one more time. So you want to apply that effect three times altogether. So once we have done that and our filter is applied, we then want to go up to Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees, this time CCW. This will bring it back to its original state. Now once we have done that, we want to now go over and start applying some layer mask to our text. So go ahead and double click on that layer, whatever that text layer may be, double click on it, and then we want to go and add an outer glow. So go click on outer glow. Now we want to go and set this outer glow as a kind of a light blue color just depending on how you want to do it. You can play with this effect and make it however you want to make it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that color right there. Now you can play around with it to get your desired effect. So go ahead and mess around with the colors and get it the way you want it. And I'm going to click OK. Once I have done that, I then want to add another color overlay. So click on color overlay. Now this color overlay, you want the blue color to be a little lighter than that color you just chose. So go around and let's select another light blue color. And this time I'm going to try to make it just a little bit lighter here. I'm going to go up here and see if I can get the right blue that I want. So let's go ahead and select maybe, that's too dark. Let's go up a little bit here. And let's select, how about that color right there. Okay, now I have my lighter blue selected. And now what I want to do is I want to go and duplicate that layer. So click OK. And then I want to right click on that text layer and click Duplicate Layer. Go ahead and leave it at the copy layer. Click OK. Once you have done that, you then want to double click on that copy layer, double click on it, and what we want to do now is add a bevel and emboss. Click on bevel and emboss. Once we are there, we want to make sure it is style, enter, bevel, and the technique will be chisel soft, okay? Make sure your technique is chisel soft. 
take the depth down to 60%. I went ahead and typed it in there. And then once we do that, we want to go over here and we want to uncheck color overlay on that specific layer. And then we want to go to gradient overlay. Now that we are under gradient overlay, we want to set the blend mode to overlay. So go up to blend mode, change that to overlay. Now we have our blend mode set to overlay. The last thing we want to do is go to pattern overlay. Now if you do not have this pattern, you can download it or you can click the expand button and try to find it that way. But the name of this pattern is called the satin pattern, 128 by 128 pixels. Click on the satin pattern. Now once you have done that, you want to go ahead and take the opacity down just a little bit. I normally, I, the last time I kept it right around, I'd say 45%, but you can play around with it and do whatever you want depending on what you want it to be. Now click OK once you're done, and then you can zoom in a little bit, and you can see now you have this nice frozen text effect. As I said at the beginning of this tutorial, you can play around with this and get your desired effect depending on the colors, the font style, the font size. You can mess with it. There's endless options. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help me out. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And, guys, I will see you guys next time.